This trip to CES 2017 was made possible in part by my patrons who support me at patreon.com. Hey, it's Joel, the 3D printing nerd, and while at CES, I got the chance to stop by the Dagama booth. No, not Dagaba. Dagama. There we go. That's more like it. Dagama is a French company, as the lady that approached me told me, and they offer some cool printers. There was this printer, their Disco Easy 200, and it had a sign next to it that said $249. I inquired more, and that's their entry into the sub $300 printer market. The Disco Easy 200 appears to be a 200 by 200 by 200 print area printer. It's got an E3D all metal hot end. It does 1.75 millimeter filament. It will go down to 100 microns on the Z. It's got a print speed of anywhere between 30 millimeters a second and 100 millimeters a second. She told me it's 40% printed parts. And beyond all that, I guess it includes an inductive probe to do auto bed leveling. The printer looked okay and the models that it was printing looked pretty good from what I could tell. There was some stringing on one, but I wasn't too worried about that because they were running like 20 of these things. What really caught my eye at the Dagama booth is this Delta printer, and it had a sign next to it that said $349. I inquired more, and it sounds really cool. Dagama is calling this printer the Neva Delta printer, and it looks like it's gonna have a delivery of May 2017, so they're doing pre-orders right now. It's got a 180 diameter by 200 millimeter tall build area. It also has the same features as the other printer with uh, 1.75 millimeter filament, 30 to 100 millimeters per second print speed. Uh, what, what really drew me to this printer though, it was a couple different features. It's, it's billed as a, as a, as a one-touch operation printer and it comes fully assembled for 349. It does filament detection. So if it runs out of filament, it will pause the print. And you can also hit this button to pause the print and insert different filament. I did ask about auto bed leveling and the lady I was talking to said they use their own magic to do this. I tried to press further and they said it does involve tapping the bed. So there is no inductive probe on this printer. Also at the booth were prints they've made from their printers, I guess. Uh, it, they looked great. The prints looked really good and I was, I was impressed as well as I could be. There was one specific print that I thought was really neat. They had a backhoe and uh, I believe the right word is hydraulic. It was hydraulic. I don't know if it was a, an oil or a water. I was just, I'm guessing it was water, but they had water lines from syringes going to different parts of the, the, the back arm, the backhoe, and it, it worked and the lady was moving it around and uh, it was cool. That was a cool thing. I would probably print something like that myself and my guess, of course, is that it was printed on one of the Dagama printers. Man, CES was fun and I'm really glad I had the chance to stop by the Dagama booth. They seem like good people. I might be able to get some printers in for review. I don't know the answer to that. That Delta though, coming out May of 2017, looks like a really sweet deal. And what it was printing, it was printing well. So I'd really like to get some time with that printer. That being said, Dagma, if you see this, feel free to send me a Delta. I'd be more than happy to review it on this channel. Well, there we go. Now you get to see some of what Dagma had to offer on the CES floor. If you have any questions about their booth or what they were offering, leave them down in the comments and I'll do my best to get to them. But for now, let's call it good. Give it a like, leave a comment if you have questions. Don't forget to hug each other more often because I love you guys. As always, high five.